Hello, everybody. It is our first Ask Me Anything for 2017. So happy new year. I hope 2017 will be the best year yet for you. So let's get started. You can come in. This is Evergreen. It's always in the group so you can pop on. So we're going to have a chat about how to get started with cloth nappies without spending a penny. Um, and we're going to have a look at some of the swim nappies that are available. Let's just do a really quick overview of what different swim nappies do and what they look like, benefits, pros, cons, easy. All righty. So, and I'll answer a couple of questions as well. So if anyone's coming on, um, let me know you can see me and hear me. And pop any of your questions down the side. Um, ensure you got your aircon on and a nice cool drink and let me know if you've done that because that just might reduce my temperature. All right, so let's start with, if you've got a friend, let's say you go around to a friend's place and you show you them your fang dangle new cloth nappies and they go, oh, they're so cool, but oh, the washing, oh, it's too hard. Oh, and you go, oh, come on. It's not that hard. It's quite easy. It's just a bit of washing. It's a little bit of, oh, it's nothing, it's just nothing. You can give them a strategy. So I want to share that with you today. And I'm thinking of making this a little challenge a little bit later in the year to get those people who are going, oh, I can't do it. No. So the idea is you use your disposable nappies. You've already got there, all right? And the point is, look, they're already waterproof on the outside. They'll give parents a little bit more confidence because they are waterproof. It's a plastic bucket. It's not breathable. So it just gives a little bit, and it's already got a bit of absorbency. So if they don't get the absorbency right, they've still got the nappy there for protection. So it gives a nice, gentle introduction to cloth nappies. And what you can do, and, you, and if you already have a stash and you find out you've used all your nappies because your kid's just weighing a lot at the moment, especially summer because we give them more water, so they might be weighing more often, here are some options just to add in some absorbency. So for new parents, pop it in your disposable. You might need to go up a size in your disposable nappy just in case it's a little bit too bulky and you don't get that nice seal around the leg. So grab one of your old washers. This is great for newborns up to about four months of age, depending on how much your child wets. All right. You know, this looks like a bamboo trifold booster, doesn't it? Okay, you can see mine's quite old. It's got a hole in it already. All right, so fold it in three. There we go. And that'll fit in your, uh, not newborn, but next one's up. So I think it's the infant size um, disposable nappies. That'll fit and that'll give you, give your friend or someone who is new just a taste of what it's like. So put that in your nappy. Baby will do their business. Take it out. Wash it put the poo down the toilet. You can use liners. You can get, I think some place, some states in Australia, you can still get the liners at Woolworths. I haven't seen them in Queensland and I haven't seen them in WA. And it could be temp, depend on what suburb you live in. Do that. Chop up an old chuck swipe um, is one, what one parent, some parents do. I did that for a little while until I found the more fang dangle ones. Um, or you can get an old fleece, uh, fleecy blanket Cut that up, just get a couple of squares and try it as your stay dry layer to deal with those poos. All right. If you've got a newborn, you can just fold down. Do it backwards. Okay, so for a newborn, you can fold down it in thirds and maybe in four. And there's a little newborn insert. So that is just a washer. That's all it is. Just absorbency. This is a cotton one, so try and go your natural fibres. Your old cotton is good. All right. If you've got an older child, six months plus, your handy hand towel or tea towel is really good. All right. Fold it in four. There's some absorbency. You'll have to go up a size possibly in your disposable as well. Sorry, I'm sweating. Sorry, guys. Probably have to go up a size in your disposable as well. You can also, if you have a friend has a boy, fold down the front and fold in three. There you go. And if you're willing to be really generous, you can share one of your covers if you have one there, which would be really lovely. 
Now, if your friend likes those, but the cost, sometimes that's a um, sticky point, and I understand that. It was for me too. I saved for four months. All right, pre faults. They've experienced absorbency in a washer. There's your newborn pre fault. It's very similar. Okay, it's a bit more trim, not as much bulk, more absorbency down the middle. Okay, so there's one option for your newborn bubs up to about three months. All right, and for your older bubs, so instead of using the hand towel, grab an infant size pre fold. And it's a, um, we get about three, four dollars each. That's pretty good. There we go. So that's how to get started and how to add to your stash spending no money. I have done this several times when I had all four in cloth. It was only a couple of months, but I remember it really well. I had to convert to these actually just to get more changes. But there you go. Okay. Uh, so swim nappies. Today is the day to be swimming. We have set up a little splash pool which yesterday we wanted to use, but it was um, coming over with massive storms. So hopefully today we will, I will be in that splash pool, keeping cool. All right, swim nappies come in sized and one size. So your one size, just like your nappies, snap down at the front. And they also have your sized options, okay? You can get a better fit with sized because you don't have to make sure you've got the right sizing and it's all tucked up. You've got a good pull through the groin. Sized options can be a bit easier to get that really good fit and seal around the leg. And it's that seal you want around the leg. Swim nappies are designed to catch poo. They're not designed to catch wee at all. Okay, so all the weed just goes straight through and into the water. That's normal. It's fine. It's what the chlorine and the salt is for to destroy those nasty bugs. It's to catch poo. I see, Janet, I think you posted a question. Uh, do you need to put a liner in the nappy with the net inside? No. No. So on the inside of nappies, there's a lot of them. So I'll talk about the inside. A lot have different um, bits that go against the skin. Oh, I've got a cover. Oh, that's right. So you've got, so I'll start with this one. So this is Bummies. They do a soft micro chamois against the skin, which is nice and soft. That's good for um, little newborn poos to grab those and grab them quickly. All right. Then you have... Baby Behinds Swim Nappy does a suede against the skin, same ID. And then Seedling Baby, with their paddle pants, they do a netting. So the net will catch anything that goes underneath. You don't need to put a liner against the skin because um, the nappy, if you think about it, doesn't sit against the skin when bubs swimming. There's a thin layer of water usually around it. So if it's causing irritation, usually irritation from swim nappies usually comes when people use their pool covers, PUL covers, like this one, which you can use, but this can rub, especially in the salt water or the chlorine, can rub against the skin if they're in there for a while or it's not on there, um, on there too long. And then you have sized options. So this is the close swim nappy and they've got a lining of micro fleece on the inside which is very soft and gentle. So you can get a netting, you can get uh, your, your micro fleece, your netting or your soft suede cloths and micro chamois. chamois. Uh, to size them, we've had this discussion before, so I'll put this one on the smallest setting and four odd kilos and up. Make sure the bit is not down, it's up. 
like that. It's pointing up because if you point it down, you can get little bits poking out, which doesn't give you a nice fit. So if you poke it up, you're going to get a good fit with the double gusset as well. Double gussets are great for catching those loose poos. All right, so just a little bit of a bucket in there to grab those. If your bubby does do a poo in the water, you got to change them straight away. It's not going to keep it there because the water is going to keep moving through and will start breaking up the poo. So even if they do a solid one, you do have to change them straight away. So pop out, always have a spare swim nappy, pop out, change it, get back in. I can attest to that because dear Abigail did it in the pool the other day. I was at home. So we had her swim nappy on, which is like this one, but bigger, um, and we left her in there too long. So make sure you change them straight away. The benefits of snap on compared to pull up, pull up, pull down compared to snap on, snap off. These ones can give a better seal around the leg for poos because you pull them up and they leave them on and they got that seal. It's the way they're made. These ones, you have to ensure you have a good seal around the leg, okay? There's no extra protection coming down the leg like on the pull-up ones. If bub does a poo, easier to clean up with a snap-on, snap-off if it's a bit of a loose one, all right? Because you snap it on like a nappy, put it down, off you go. These ones, you've got to pull down and... You've got to try and not get pooed down the inside of the legs. or down the leg. I'm sure you've experienced it. All right. Tip is get your hands and pull at the back. So there's, this is the back of the nappy. Make this the back. And pull and go. try and go down this way. All right. All righty. Swim nappies. Does anyone have any questions? They're fab. Okay. All right, we had a couple of questions. This one's going to be lovely and short, which is fine. I think we're all getting ready for kids going back to school, if you're lucky, or we're all dealing with heat. So we had a couple of questions with regards to summer, and when you hang your nappy out to dry, it comes in really, really stiff. That's fine. That's the sun doing its job. Okay, so if you find that, it's particularly uh, for uh, hemp, Hemp and then cotton and then bamboo, all right? So this is a hemp baby behinds fitted. If that's the case and it comes in quite stuck in its shape, okay, scrunch it. Use your hands to scrunch it. Sit down and watch your favourite show. Get the dinner ready and just scrunch the nappy. Same with your inserts. Give them a good scrunch, <laughs> all right? I've done that many a time, all right? Give them a good scrunch. That'll break release the fibres and they'll relax, all right? To try and prevent that, pop them in the shade. Dry your nappies in the shade, all right? It's so hot anyway, the UVs are going to get in to where you are. So pop them in the shade. If you haven't got shade, put them at the back of your line. If you have particularly hot weather, so I reckon around 34 degrees plus, put them at the back of the line, not at the front. I usually put mine right at the front of the line. In summer, like today, I put them at the back because it's just going to dry so quickly. So they go really stiff because the water goes whoosh, and then the fibres go whoosh, instead of just sort of nicely drying off like in winter. Um, pop them on a clothes horse. Another option is just pop them under the shade on the veranda or pop them in a dry part of your house, which could be um, your shed or your front room where the sun is, just not directly in the sun and the heat, okay? Um, hand scrunch them. Yeah. Um, the other question we had was about pilling on uh, some nappies. Pilling happens because there's agitation in the wash. And it's a short fibre usually. Shorter fibres will um, peel. Um, you'll find that more on suede cloth than um, some of the others. On some cheaper micro fleece, you'll get the pilling. To try and prevent that is to decrease the agitation. Now, you need the agitation in your washing machine, obviously, to clean your nappies. So my machine, I went from about a... 500 RPM to an 1100 RPM. 
I got pilling, I destroyed my elastics and I started getting holes in my wipes because it was just too fast. So you can try decreasing the RPM on your machine or some people are doing a pre-wash and then doing the normal wash with the machine and then a post-wash. You can try decreasing the number of washes you do. Just look at your washing routine. Um, the idea is to decrease the agitation. Make sure you've got enough, uh, your machine's not over full, so don't push it down um, to get more in, okay, because that's just going to cause more agitation. So um, don't overfill your machine. What else? Long wash cycles, really, really long ones. More agitation, more fibres going against each other will cause the pilling. Yeah, I hope that helps. What's the best RPM you'd recommend? Oh, seven to 800. We've had um, quite a few testing done with brands and customers and such like. Seven to 800 seems to be pretty good and that's pretty standard for most washing machines. Um, I was very lucky and was able to get a really fangdangle washing machine after 25 years. Um, so seven to 800 is good. Um, 500 tends to just not, you know, that whirl at the end to get it going can be a little bit slow to get all the gunk out and to really do its job. Um, 1100 seems to be overkill. That's for workmen's clothes, but they're really, really dirty. So seven to 800 usually good normal. Um, we've had quite a few customers talk about um, some of the nappies, the elastics go on high RPMs. Again, it comes down to your wash cycle and your machine and what's in it and what you do. But I'd err, err on the side of caution until you're really one-to-one -one with your washing machine. <laughs> All right, guys. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining in. If you've got any questions, pop them below. If something comes up, I'll answer them throughout the day. Um, keep cool. My pleasure, Peter. My pleasure. Have a beautiful day. I will, sorry about last night. Those storms really do muck around with our internet. We will be on NBN this year. Yes. Um, so I have a great day. Have a great weekend. We're finally there.